Basically, the bridge deck uh, is the part of the bridge that will support the traffic road. It's a composite structure. We have their structural steel, the edge girders, floor beams, uh, redundancy girders, soffit panels, cladding panels. We also have the precast uh, panels that are made with concrete, 70 MPA concrete. We have post tensioning system, transversal PT, we call it. This bridge deck has six lanes in total, plus one additional uh, multipurpose lane. We can divide the bridge in a main bridge and approach bridge. Uh, the main bridge we can also divide in main span and side span. The main span over the river uh, is uh, 853 meters. We have different elements here. The main ones are the edge girders and the floor beams. The edge girders you can see uh, along uh, the bridge uh, that are also located uh, the passive anchors to install the HDP pipes. We have the floor beams that we cannot see from here that are transversal beams. We have the soffit panels that are basically covering the bottom of the deck and we have the precast panels that are the precast pa concrete panels that are covering the top of the deck. The edge girder, most of them are 15 meters long, around 45 tons. The floor beams are 33 uh, meters long. On the main span, the cycle is to install the structural steel, edge girders, floor beams with the redundancy girders. We install the HDP pipes and the strands. And after that, we are installing the 12 precast panels, that each segment has 12 precast panels, four, four, and four. And after that, we are installing the river, the embedments, and uh, pouring the concrete. Even though this is a balanced cantilever design, we did something different. We started the side span activity, the deck activity, last year. We use uh, this temporary pier that you can see over there. We did that because it was beneficial for the project, beneficial for the crews. Uh, they had the opportunity uh, of learning uh, how to install uh, the structural steel, how to install the precast panels, also quality department, safety, uh, the superintendents, the field engineers uh, learned a lot of uh, this activity last year. We did that also because it was not possible to start the cable stay installation till reach the elevation on the pylon. Then uh, we use this as a learning curve and we use that to this year focus all our resources working on the main span. The first thing that we shall mention about the deck is that it's not an horizontal deck, as you can see. We have a 5% inclination. Uh, it's only horizontal uh, in the center of the river. The reason of that is because we need to provide a clearance. The Detroit River needs to be a traffic for our ships and boats. Then uh, we are giving uh, the Detroit River a 46 meter high uh, clearance in the center of the river. Not having the tower on the river is at the same time uh, good because uh, we don't need to work with barges on the river and this facilitates a lot of the things, but at the same time is a challenge from a design point of view and also from an execution point of view. We need to prepare, plan all the logistics to feed uh, the deck with the crawler that we have on the ground and to use the trailer that we have over the deck to carry all the different elements uh, to the top of the construction. Inside this deck we have other different elements, utilities. We have the drainage system that basically is collecting all the water, all the melting snow that we will have and carrying along uh, the deck till reach side span piers. The drainage go to the side span and later uh, to a pond. We also have the fire protection system that obviously will be a prevention in case of fire over the deck. We also have electrical utilities to provide electricity and lighting along uh, the bridge. 
If we have a specialized crews, uh, for example, we have the concrete finishers crews that are uh, taking care of the concrete, they are taking care of, of the small repairs that, that we are having after the pours, and they are laborers. We have a specialized iron workers crew that are taking care of the structural steel installation, all the bolting, all relating with flying beams, edge girder, floor beams, and the bolting of, of these beams. We have another uh, crew also from Iron Workers Union that are taking care of the HDP pipes installation and the strands installation. About the operators, uh, we are splitting the site in uh, two pieces, the approach uh, works and the main span uh, works. Obviously, the um, tower crane operators are specialized in working with the tower crane, but we also have operators that have more experience working with the crawlers. We have different crawlers on site. We have one MLC 300 over the deck, one 16,000 crawler uh, on the ground that is feeding all the edge girders, the floor beams, the precast panels. We have also a trailer and a goat uh, over the deck that is carrying all these elements uh, to the center of uh, the river uh, to facilitate the installation of these items. There are two means of access to, to the deck. The, the main one is the temporary elevator that we install along the north leg of the pylon, but we have a second means of access that is a state tower that is uh, over there in the temporary pier number five. Safety is a continuous activity that starts with the design and ends with the responsibility of the people on site. This is a 16,000 crawler crane. We are using this crane just to feed all the elements, to fly all the elements uh, over the trailer and to put all the edge gear, the floor beam, precast panels uh, over the deck. We are putting all these elements in a trailer and after that we are moving along uh, the deck uh, with the trailer and a goat, uh, these elements. To move this crawler crane we need to wait till the concrete of the stitches reach a minimum strength and after that we are moving the crane mats and moving uh, the crane around 15 meters. Every segment is 15 meters, therefore we need to move the crane the same amount. I'm really proud of working in the Gordy Howey Bridge. Uh, this is a, a challenge. This uh, project is also a multicultural project. I am an example of, of that. Uh, it's, it's very, I'm learning a lot working with uh, people all around the world. There are people here from Asia, Middle East, Oceania, Africa, South America, North America. Uh, it's really interesting working in BNA. I was here from the beginning of the project in 20, 2019. And I'm looking forward to, to, to close the bridge and to make it happen.